Okay, so you know when you're like, you're addicted to let's say peanut brittle or something, and anytime you see peanut brittle being sold, you gotta get some. Okay, well I'm addicted to peanut brittle, but I am addicted to baking cookers. And anytime I see one, I gotta review it. So this is called Wow Bacon, okay? I'm gonna show you how it works, I'm gonna bring you in close, watch you how, show you how it opens, show you how to set your bacon in, all that good stuff, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I have a feeling this is gonna work. It's a little interesting design. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm learning just as you guys are seeing it. Okay, I've never done this before. We're gonna do it together first time. I like to do things first time. I don't practice my videos and all that stuff. Oh, by the way, buy one of my show hats. There's a merchandise shelf there. But anyway, um, so come on in close. Let's take a up close look at the Wow. Bacon Microwave Cooker. Okay, I, I haven't even got over the directions much. I read them briefly. So we're gonna learn this together, all right? But I'm thinking this, is, this cap here and the, the thing it sets in is kind of a storage device for bacon grease. So you can keep on, it screws on. Anyway. I'm thinking that, but I don't know. It, it might be. I can imagine this whole thing full of bacon grease. That, that'd be cool. Now, I've already got my bacon grease company that sent me a bunch of bacon grease, so I don't need to save any from this episode. But normally, people are going to want something to put there. My grandma used to put it in a coffee tin. Okay? So anyway, so this is what it looks like. Okay? Look at the whole thing. I want to show you. See these black things here? That seems to clip the lid onto the container. All right, so let's see if we can push it down. There we go. There's one, there's two. Let's put those down for a minute. And then grab the lid. Okay. Interesting. So this locks on. Oh, okay, I see how this works. All right, so this is interesting because this is where you hang your bacon, right? And this locks on. You set it in there. How do you line that up? Where does it go? Hold on. Let me get this straight. You line this in there like that. And then you rotate it just a little bit. See how it fits it? Oops. That was a good one, Jack. Let's try it again. So you'll see how it lines up. You line it up, slides on, then you rotate it a little bit. Put the dots over a little bit, and this should, this keeps coming out, I don't know why. Interesting, that's interesting, let's see. Put it in there, put it in there, rotate a little bit, there we go. Now it's holding it, see it? Now I'm reading you can do six slices at a time. That's the only downfall, some cookers We'll take the whole pound, like making bacon. That one took a whole pound, but this one is another great device for you only have a few people. Lots of people don't need a whole pound of bacon. Okay, so let's pull out some bacon. Come on, you're all defrosted now. Here we go, that's how you put it on. Well, there's one problem right there. Let me double check how they got it. Yeah, they got it. Uh, okay, there's one problem. The bacon's longer than the slots. Leave it like that. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to double up the bacon. There we go. There we go. I don't know if anybody ever thought of that. I just came up with that myself. I'm not going to be able to get all my bacon on there. Let's put a slice on every slot. Come on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Double the bacon. Now, this bacon, I don't know if the thick cut bacon is shorter. This bacon's too long for the little slots. So, there we go. Rotate it. Keep going. Give this 
whole thing filled up. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six slices of bacon. <clears throat> now, once again, they said four minutes for six slices and two minutes for three slices. I like mine extra crispy, so I'm going to do it a little bit longer. Probably going to do, I was always taught, a minute a slice if you're going to microwave it. Uh, probably going to do a whole minute. So let me take this label off here. Okay. Clip, clip this closed. There we go. It's all loaded. Let's put it in for a few minutes. And uh, once again, I'm doing probably six minutes. But it says four minutes for, well... Let's do it according to the book. I do not want to burn this and ruin it and give it a bad review if it works good. So we're doing four minutes for six pieces of bacon. That's what the instructions say. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Steam's coming out of this hole. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. A steam burn is the worst. But see this? Listen. Put that up by the microphone so you can hear it's like boiling inside. It was making a lot of gurgly popping sounds. So it must be cooking better than most. It was doing that pretty fast. So let's let this cool off. I'm not going to open it yet. There we go. Let's pop that one open. Come on. Are you serious? Don't want to pop open? Can't get my bacon out. Are you serious? Hold on. There we go. Take the lid off. Careful. Put the lid over here for now. All right. Let's go slow. Take this off. Put it on the dish. So if it drips hot grease. Wow. Good thing I didn't go six minutes. Look what happened. Okay, well, I won't fold them in half next time because it got kind of clumpy, but this is crispy. This is incredible. Let's go and get it off my by shaking it. There we go. I mean, this cooks so well. Look at this. Look at That's crispy bacon right there. Okay, well, maybe I'll just cut them in half next time. So, only thing I found wrong was it doesn't handle, if this device was a little bit taller, that'd be better. But but look at how crispy that is. Look at it. It's all in one piece. It's all cooked. Here's your grease in there. See that? It's all collected in there. Let's see how much it got. It got all the grease out of there. Let's take a look. I think that's what this is for. It's not the little bacon. I know that. There we go. Pour your grease in there. Be careful. There we go. Got your bacon bits in there. Everything's in there. Awesome. That's good. Put that back in there. Put the lid on real quick. Or not. But anyway. <laughs> it's not that I can't screw that thing. It's just I don't want to spend 20 minutes trying to get it to close. I just want to brag about how awesome that did. Look at that. I haven't tried it yet, but I mean, it's not moving. It can't be any crispier than that without burning it. That's the key. So cut your bacon next time. Fold it over so it's hanging in a single strand. And... Uh, and that's what my mom used to cut her bacon right in half before she laid it out to cook on the frying pan. But anyway, I know some of you are going to be like, well, how come I can't do it in a frying pan? How can because if you don't get grease all over the stove. You don't get splatter everywhere. I love cast iron, but 
this is so much easier. And if it's just me and Tammy now, Jack Jr.'s not here, this is, this is cool. I can do like a round or two. I got enough bacon for everybody. And once again, cut your bacon. I recommend that before you lay it over and it will work perfect. This is beautiful. I can't, be I can't believe how crispy that is. All right, let's give it a try. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That worked perfect. Follow the time. Once again, six strips, you're going to do it for four minutes. Three strips, you're going to do it for six, uh, for two minutes. Excuse me. Uh, it's written right on the packaging. So follow the time. It came out perfect. All right. Oh, it's so great. Mmm. Wow. No wonder I'm called wow. <laughs> mm. Well, there it is. It's the wow bacon microwave cooker success. Whoop. Bacon flying in my mouth. Success. Get it? I got a link down below. I love you guys. See you on the next episode.